was good cause welcome back to the channel today i'm bringing you all another mlb the show 21 diamond dynasty rankings video and in today's video we are talking the top 10 center fielders in the game right now if you missed the video i dropped earlier today of the top 10 left slash right fielders in the game right now make sure to go check that one out but if you're excited for this video do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you are new i would greatly appreciate it but without further ado i hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we are talking the top 10 center fielders in the game right now, just like my other rankings list. These are going to be just my opinion, so if you agree or disagree with me, that is completely okay. One more thing is that we're only including primary center fielders on this list, so left fielders or right fielders will not be included, so guys like Ronald Acuna Jr. will not be on this list, but let's get into it. At number 10, we have the 96 overall Steve Finley card with diamond hitting and diamond defense, and this card actually has pretty good power numbers for a center fielder is one of the cards that came out in the beginning of the game unfortunately though his contact numbers are not the best with only 84 contact against righties 74 against lefties that's not good enough at this point in the game 108 power against righties and 101 against lefties though like i said it's pretty good for a center fielder 87 fielding 76 arm 84 arm accuracy and 83 ash time are pretty decent fielding stats as well he also comes with 90 speed and 93 steel so if this card had better contact numbers he'd probably still be a usable center fielder in my opinion though i don't think he's worth it anymore but if you want to pick him up you have to collect every single NL West Live Series card. At number 9, we have the 96 overall Torrey Hunter card here with diamond hitting and diamond defense and this card's still pretty usable in your outfield. He has good contact numbers, he has okay power, good fielding stats though. Obviously, he's a gold glove card so they're gonna give him great fielding stats and he has decent speed. 97 contact against righties, 121 against lefties, 84 power against righties and 98 against lefties and then, like I said, really good fielding stats. 99 fielding, 79 arm is not the best but it's not the worst either. 89 arm accuracy and 96 reaction time. Also also comes with 77 speed and 80 steel. If you want to pick up this Tory Hunter card, you get him in the AL West Team Affinity Season 2. At number 8, we have the 97 overall Chris Taylor card with diamond hitting and diamond defense. And if this card was better against righty arms, he'd be higher up on the list because he has really good fielding stats, good speed, and good contact and power against lefties. But his hitting stats against righties are not the best. 90 contact against righties, 118 against lefties, 86 power against righties, and 100 against lefties. Like I said though, good fielding stats, 87 fielding, 84 arm, 81 arm accuracy, and 89 reaction time with 78 speed and 54 steel. That's pretty solid for a center fielder. If you do want to put Chris Taylor in a different position, I know we're only talking primaries here, but he can play second, third, shortstop, left field, or right field. So if you want to put him in any of those positions, I'm sure he's pretty good there as well if you can't fit him in at your center field spot. If you want to pick him up though, he's in the NL West Team of Fanny Season 3. At number 7, we have the 98 overall Cedric Mullins card here with diamond hitting and bronze defense. And if this card was better in the field, he'd be higher up on the list. But he's a bad fielder in my opinion. Only a 50 arm for an out fielder that is not good at all he cannot make any plays at the plate if you have to throw it home to save a run he's not going to make that throw he is a really good hitter though 121 contact against righties 113 against lefties 99 power against righties and 88 against lefties with a good swing 77 fielding 50 arm 50 arm accuracy and 78 reaction time like i said though not going to cut it in the field at this point in the year 84 speed and 75 still though is pretty solid if you want to put him in left and right maybe that could work but i wouldn't use him in my opinion in the outfield here if you want to pick him up though he's in the al east team if any season three at number six we have the 96 overall ken griffey jr car with diamond hitting and diamond defense and ken griffey jr always has one of the best swings in the game but his contact numbers are not the best here 85 contact against righties 89 against lefties 110 power against righties is good but 89 against lefties not the best he has really good fielding so that's the 91 fielding 91 arm so a cannon in center field 80 arm accuracy 92 reaction time with 82 speed and 45 still if you're a ken griffey jr fan this card is very very good but there's better options at the center field position in my opinion if you want to pick him up though you're on a budget he's 35k on the market before we get to my top five center fielders in the game right now if you're enjoying the video and you're finding it useful do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you are new i would greatly appreciate it make sure to go check out the video i dropped earlier today of the top 10 left slash right fielders in the game right now but let's get back into it to get my top five started at number five we have the 96 overall jason dominguez card here with diamond hitting and diamond defense and this card does everything pretty well doesn't do anything exceptional or bad either he's an all-around good card here switch hitting bad love to get switch hitters in your lineup here 90 plus hitting stats across the board for the most part 95 contest against righties 91 against lefties 96 power against righties and 90 against lefties 
lefties. And then good fielding stats, 88 fielding, 92 arm, 88 arm accuracy, and 94 reaction time with 94 speed and 70 steel. So if you get him to parallel five, that's 99 speed. That's a 97 arm. This card is very good. If you want to pick him up, he's 80K on the market. At number four, we have the 97 overall Adolis Garcia card here with diamond hitting and gold defense. And this card has some of the best power numbers at the center field position with 121 power against righties, 114 against lefties, 101 contact against righties, 91 against lefties with good fielding stats. They're not bad. They're not great. They're mid 70s pretty much across the board. 75 fielding, 74 arms, 72 arm accuracy, and 80 reaction time. 87 speed will help make up for some of his fielding stats there and 57 steel. This card is all around a pretty good card. If you want to pick him up, he's in the AOS Team Affinity Season 3. At number 3, I have the 95 overall April Player of the Month Byron Buxton card. And I know a lot of people still love this card, including me. He's one of my favorite cards in the game right now, even though he's still not on my main team. He's the only card in the game right now I have that power level 5. He has diamond hitting, diamond defense, but I think he's a little outdated at this point. I think there's better options at the center field position. 88 contest against righties, 100 against lefties, 99 power against righties, and 90 against lefties, but he's the best defensive outfielder in the game. There's no doubt about that. 99 fielding, 91 arm, 86 arm accuracy, 99 reaction time with 99 speed, and 84 steal. I definitely have a soft spot for Byron Buxton in this game. If you want to pick him up, he's in the April Play of the Month program. At number 2, we have the 98 overall Andrew McCutcheon card with diamond hitting and gold defense and this card looks really good at the plate he looks good in the field and he has good speed 97 contest against righties 113 against lefties 86 power against righties and 100 against lefties so he's a little bit better at the plate than Byron Buxton he's not the fielder Byron Buxton is so if you want to put Buxton at 2 and McCutcheon at 3 I'm cool with that 84 fielding 74 arm 78 arm accuracy and 83 reaction time he does have 88 speed and 77 steel though if you want to collect the Andrew McCutcheon card you have to go do your August daily moments and last but not least at number one it's obviously still the 96 overall live series Mike Trout card with diamond hitting and diamond defense and I'm not taking this Mike Trout off my team until they come out with a 99 overall Mike Trout he has been so good for me so clutch the stats do not speak for how good this Mike Trout card is in game if you're not using him right now because the 96 overall and you think some of the 99 overall cards are better I'm telling you they are not he's still a top five card in the game right now no question about it 113 contest against righties 99 against lefties 119 power against righties and 91 against lefties good fielding stats as well 85 fielding 84 arms 75 arm accuracy 85 reaction time with 87 speed and 46 steel there is a reason all the top players are still using mike trout on their god squads definitely go out and get mike trout if you have the stubs to get him for 350k or if you're lucky enough you can get him in a pack okay everyone that's gonna do it for the video today my top 10 center fielders in the game right now if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe and if you are new, I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure to go check out the video I dropped earlier today of the top 10 left slash right fielders in the game right now. If you would like to, you can follow me on my social links, which are on the screen for you all right now, including my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, stuff like that. But that's going to do it for me today, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.